So, on previous video, you will have show, I will have shown you uh, a house that we were doing some work on where there's some horizontal cracks, where it's a uh, wall tie failure. So, then going through into the rear of the property, this is a terraced house by the way. It's a complete mid terrace. And what we've had to do is remove the back wall. So we've got some, some scaffold on the inside, which is holding the floor up. You'll see why soon. So let's go upstairs. So, upstairs again. So this is the front of the property. Behind me, this is the doorway. Are you ready for it, people? Get a drum roll, dude. Dun, dun, dun. What a f Now that's what you call air conditioning. So the scaffolding downstairs is to hold the floor up. So the scaffolding above this floor is to now hold the roof up because, as you can see, we've got no f wall. So, let's have a look down here. This is my blue Peter bit. Here's some I prepared earlier. These are the wall ties. And these are the old wall ties. So, I'm gonna do a bit on these first. So, this is an old wall tie. You see the thickness of it? About a quarter inch thick. There, there. But then the ones that are corroded, can you see how thick this side is here, as opposed to that side? Let's do it on a, on, do it on a, put it on the background so you can see. So we've got that thick and that thick, and you can literally you can bend it. It's gone that thin. And then this one. Look, this one. This one's even crude in a way. So, can you see the difference there? So look where this finger is. It's gone to nothing, look. Right, so can we see this gap? This house has been previously set out to have a cavity wall which is unusual for these houses, by the way. But what would happen is these rip ties would go in here, like that, and into there, and that would tie one, one sort of, one layer of brick to the next, and the little twist goes in the, in the hole. So what you would have had is you'd have a series of these going along like that. Do you get the principle? So they're more like this one, but further inserted. I can't do it at the moment, obviously. I'm trying to explain. So what happens then is when when the when the pointing goes on the outside and rain gets at these things, it obviously starts rusting and it starts splitting. And what it's done is it's actually lifted the entire entire wall up because it's expanded. So the rust has expanded the joint, which has expanded the brickwork and pushed it all up. You've got these ties in every four, like that, there. There, so on. So when it's when they've all corroded on the outside, like this one, I mean, look at that. Look how thin it is. It's lifted the brickwork up completely. So we've got. So then all the brickworks become all the all the walls come loose basically, and it's not safe. So on this particular one, this is quite an extreme case. We've got to take it down. There are other remedial ways of fixing things, but this one was particularly bad. So. Many, many years ago when they were using these, you'd never think that something would go from that thick. I mean, that's quite thick, it's quarter, quarter of an inch. It would actually rust to nothing. Look how thin it is. What we need to use now is these. So these are stainless steel wall ties. Same principle, they do the same thing, they're the same size. But as you can see on this one, you've got one there. You can see it? I've got one here in front of me, sticking in the course, and so far, above loop, you see, one there. Give, let's give it a tickle. Ooh, tickle, 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 tickle. So all the way up, the, up there, and the idea is that they stick out then, like that. So half's in the brickwork, and half will be in the other brickwork, and that'll tie the two together. But the difference is, stainless steel, it doesn't rust. And that will stop it happening again. So there we go. 
all from these. So I'm putting the external skin up first, so obviously if it does rain, it's weather tight. Then the structure becomes safe. But like I say, you've got the cost of the scaffold and rebuilding the back end of the house, literally. And if you want to see how bad it is, next door, have a look at this. So I'm going to, <laughs> I'm going to extend my pole, because you're on a selfie stick here, people. And I'm going to show you the line, but I'm doing it from the inside because I can't crawl on the outside. But you'll see how the brickwork's bowed out from us from next door. So if you can see, about here, so the brickwork goes out. This side looks bad here, we we'll give it a tickle. So we're bringing the bond back in, we're going to bring it up to the, the these bricks on the outside, and there's your cavity. But like I say, on that side. You see here, oh it's gone out. Tickle, tickle, tickle. Oh. So we've got scaffold below, scaffold above. So obviously this scaffold is now supporting the roof because there's nothing holding the roof up because obviously the brickwork's gone. We've had to remove all the brickwork, we've had to take it all the way down to where it's safe, which is this course here. So we've had a structural engineer involved. It's also had to have a party wall surveyor, party wall, act, party wall notice has been issued, party wall surveyor has been out to both sides of the properties, they've done all that, that's probably taken about three months to be quite honest. So now we've only just been allowed to come and start doing a bit of work. But that in a nutshell folks, that's it, that's all folks. Give it a tickle in the meantime and I'll see you later.